Hey there, everybody. I'm Chopadong out there on social media. I'm also Chopadong inside DFSArmy.com, and we're going to show you how to find MLB DFS home run bombs in five to ten minutes using the tools at DFS Army. Let's dive in and get straight to the MLB research station at DFSArmy.com. If you're curious about how to unlock this bad boy, you've got to become a VIP. Use the code DFSARMY and get yourself 10% off today. The tool is not hard to use, honestly. You come under the MLB tab, you click Open Research Station, and now that we're a couple of weeks into the season, we can use the Trends tab. I want guys that are swinging a hot bat. I want streaky guys that are on a heater. That's the easiest way to find it. But first, I'm going to start with pitchers, and let's see who we should even target. If we dive into the DraftKings Pitchers tab, doesn't matter, DraftKings, FanDuel, they're all the same thing. You can scroll all the way over to the pitching stats this year and find out who is struggling Douglin. There it goes. Sort largest to smallest. Bring all the bad boys to the top. Josiah Gray, Jordan Lyles, Tristan McKenzie. These are the guys that are having the most trouble on today's slate. Today's slate's actually a pretty good slate. May not be a lot, a lot of home runs to go around out there. But you can look for high Wobas and high home runs per nine. You can look for high hard contact. You can look for a lot of these metrics that show that pitchers struggle. Fly ball to home run ratio, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I just like straight goods. Home run per nine. So if I'm looking at Gray, Lyles, maybe McKenzie, that puts me on... Miami, New York, and L.A. So when I come, that's the first place I would start. There will obviously be home runs on other teams. But let's dive into the home, into the tab, the trend tab, and let's look for the high ISO bat coming out of Miami, New York, and L.A. When we don't have the grid up top here, the easiest way to go about this is to come right into your team tab and start selecting the teams that you want to look at. There's LA, there's Miami, there's the New York Yankees. Done and done. Come sliding over this way. Let's take a look at those ISO trends. Seven day, largest to smallest, Brandon Marsh. Who would have thunk it? Brandon Marsh out of LA is facing a hitter, a pitcher that has trouble giving up home runs, and he is hitting for a lot of power right now. If you wanted to look even at his WOBA, for crying out loud, he's been hitting over 500 or so, 568 in the past seven days. you got Taylor Ward, another guy that wouldn't be on everybody's short list, but he's ripping the cover off the ball. Of course, he hit two bombs last night. That's updated to include that. If you want a little bit bigger sample size because you're like, oh, my God, man, anybody can do anything for a day or two. It throws the numbers off. First of all, that's the point, is you want it to throw the numbers off. But second of all, you can use a little bit bigger sample size if you want somewhere out in here in the 14-day sample size, and you can take a peek. Very simply put, just chase the green. These guys are all facing hitter people with uh, home run problems, so you can use Marsh, Ward, Rizzo, Tellez, Taylor, Donaldson, Rendon, LeMayhew even. LeMayhew is a little bit weaker number at a 174, but these are all guys that are in play. If you wanted to take a Brandon Marsh or a Taylor Ward and go look up their home run props and put a couple of bucks on the line, you don't have yourself a bad shot at doing so. If you can find plus 500 or better on these guys, you probably have yourself a value bet out there in the sports betting world. So, pretty easy. These tools are made for you. We've got hitters tabs that use all the stats. We've got pitchers tabs that use all the pitching stats. You can look for good pitchers. You can look for bad pitchers. You can look for high strikeout pitchers. You can really narrow your player pool down in a short period of time, and you can use trends to find out who's on the heater and who's on the cooler. Very, very simple. Like I told you, five to ten minutes, in and out. This is Chopping On with your quick tip of the day. MLB DFS at DFSArmy.com.